So this is just retrieving supplies, which is significantly easier. I don't have to worry about finding like the last guy or two. I can just kind of go in there because it tells me where the, the thing is like straight away. Stash away football helmet. Field claw hammer. Some of the parts. First aid kits. Don't care about any of that. And the junk turret, which I'll also repair real fast. Okay. It's up above. I'm really tempted just to build. It's the Home Depot again. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, we sort of learned a kind of cool way to deal with it. Round one of the back sides. Yeah, a bit of iron. Eh. Yeah, this guy. So make some more frame blocks. We'll make it a decent amount of them for nerd pull reasons. And ramp wise, just like that. Get my fucking shotgun out. <sighs> and then this should bring us into the, yeah, this room where we can go behind these desks. It's actually below me. I'm surprised it's below me. I thought it'd be up here. I'm gonna head up top anyway, may as well. Not that it had much loot up here. It was, it was actually a little bit... A little bit shit. What is with my jump? What? There we go. Turns out my jump while reloading is terrible. Never, never knew that. Duffel bag? Food and scrap boots that I'm gonna scrap. So glad I brought my shotgun. <laughs> Ugh. And so what do we got? Food pile medium. Ooh, coffee and beer. Nice. Ammo pile. Shotgun shells. Pistol rifle ammo. Shield shipping crate. Working shift shield shipping crate. Another auger. Rank two auger. I think I can uh, get rid of that. The anvil to melt down. That, that should melt down into a bunch of iron. And an auger schematic, which I already know how to make an auger. Iron helmet. More shells. All right, so that, that was that was that. Quite okay. Need to figure out where the stash is, though. Lamo. Still woke dudes up. I remember this room, though. You guys breaking through like this one health block to get out to me. Kind of weird going through this reverse. Whoa. Twos are big. I never noticed how big they were. Excuse me? Oh. <clears throat> Why did it hurt me? <laughs> okay. Nice. Some more coffee. Uh, cooking pot. Cotton seed recipe. Eh. 
Microwave, bit of moldy bread. Sure, I guess. Whoa, some more coffee. Let's click. All right. What did it take to make buckshot? Letting clay in the forge, all right. Because we're going to have to be making some more of this. Like, we're going through it pretty fast. And I think I'll also be lazy and just mine my way through here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we can go. So that is two quests finished up. And I don't want to pick it up. I want to search the inventory. Okay, rank three is what we had before. So this level two, we can uh, we can scrap that. And the schematic to make them, ugh, I don't know. Okay, cool, very good. Let's get out of here. Basically, just follow the main road east a bunch. The junk turret, I put the barrel extender on, so it's got a little bit of extra damage to it. Not a lot, but a bit. And we will put it... Yeah, there. Okay, and I'm making a bunch of ammo for it as well. Uh... I need cobblestone to upgrade that a little bit. I think I've got some cobblestone. I also put the um, the small tank mod on the auger so it can hold a thing a little more fuel at once or something like that, fuel capacity increase. And the iron breaker mod, because I figure if I'm going to be mining iron, I'm going to be using this. I took that off the pickaxe. Bunker buster would also go on there, so it does more against stone, but I figure maybe we'll be okay not. I switched the old shotgun mod, uh, the duckbill mod, onto this new shotgun which I will repair. Also repair the auger. I'm out of repair kits now, but that's fine. It's just like iron and duct tape or so. Oh, there's another iron breaker mod here. I'm oh, fine. There we go. No problem then. Um, quite silent hilly out there. Ugh. Mm, bit of duct tape. I think I need forged iron for the repair kit, don't I? Yeah, forged iron. Which I don't currently have. Making a bunch of buckshot currently. Oh, uh, was. Need more fuel in there. Whoops. I'll make like 30. And then back to buckshot. Making, I don't know, like 500 more or so? I'm not sure how much is a lot. And then with the forged iron, make some more repair kits. So I've got them on hand. We have a bit of magnum ammo. My inventory is a mess. Burning barrels I'll throw down. The junk turret ammo we're finished with. I'll see about storing that away. The burning barrels. They generate heat for the screamy bitches, but honestly, we get them like, the fog is really bad. We get them kind of like every night anyway, so it's a little bit whatever. Let's put those around so it's a little more visible everywhere, yeah? Oh, the fog is super terrible. Ugh. Looks so garbage. And some more repair kits. So that's okay with Forged Iron, you can just work on Buckshot now. The buckshot, which we combine with gunpowder and paper. Uh, gunpowder. We should have a few thousand up here. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And paper? I hadn't really been collecting much. 212. Go for it. And I got the motorcycle chassis up there too, so I remember that that is kind of an option. And the stacks of gunpowder. I'll keep in here. With the rest of the gunpowder, maybe. So then that way it's like, oh, where's my gunpowder? And just, just, it's all there. Nice. Repair kits. Working on that. The leather is spare. The auger I'd like to try out. Military armor parts away. 
Oh, goodness. Get me a bit of fuel so I can reload this auger. We'll put the rest of the fuel back in so I just have one reload worth. Nice. The football helmet. I don't know. The claw hammer. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We'll put them down there. Shotgun machine gun. Those can go back. I'm done modifying those. Oh, God. All the stuff everywhere that I've got. A mini bike chassis. Ugh. So I got a motorcycle chassis and a mini bike chassis now? Fine. Fine. Let's head to the trader in the south and try out the uh, the auger along the way. There's a big metal iron mine thing kind of sort of along the way. Not bad. A little bit difficult to see, so I can't like I can't really easily pinpoint mine. But hey, after just a little bit of time, we've already got a few thousand iron. Oh man, what a great thing. It's out. <laughs> but uh, we got like 10,000 iron and a bunch of experience. <laughs> oh man, that's going to make life so much easier with that. And the chainsaw too. Mm. Power tools, yo. So good. So good. And the best part about that is it doesn't drain my stamina. So I can go apeshit with it. And I don't get super hungry and slash or thirsty. While doing it either. 6.30? Yeah, you guys are open. Perfect. So that is killing zombie soldiers. Not a whole lot. And this is retrieving the supplies. An auger, first aid kit, or 9mm... 100 hollow point 9mm rounds. Target armor plus 100%. So... Not great. But otherwise, 41 range damage. I don't know what that's up from. I'll, I'll take it. And your inventory resets on the 25th. Up the road. You can try looting. I'll do another fetch to the south. Like, fetches are great. Or clear some zombies to the northeast. Mm, nah, I'd really rather do a fetch. You for Utility water works again. God damn it. Okay. That's fine. I don't know why I ran over here on foot. I was too excited about the auger that I forgot about the bike. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, because, like, as you're doing stamina-consuming things, you get hungrier and thirstier, depending. There's a trait that you can pop to reduce the amount of uh, thirst and hunger that you accumulate while working hard. But I don't have any of that, so it gets pretty bad. I'll be in the mines and my stamina will just drop from, like, with a 150 or whatever max down to, I don't know, like 60 without even really realizing it. Not great. Could maybe do the buried treasure while we're out and about, too. That's also up in the sky's direction. It's a bit... It's a bit further north, but with a bike, and a lot of day ahead of us. Maybe. Perhaps he's also got like a fetch to the northeast that we can grab? That'd be really nice. Job, traveler. A rank 5 steel pickaxe. Or a rank 4 44 magnum. This already does 92 damage. I think the magnum that I've got is only rank 2. I don't really need the steel pickaxe nowadays because I got the auger, so... Magnum it is. And there is a a fetch to the northwest. A quick fetch to the southeast, though. I'll take that. Just the God bless you. That's fine. And good luck. That's just, yeah, that's like right down there. Holy shit, did I manage to get them both right next to each other again? No, okay, I didn't. That's tracking... I'm not really sure what. Let's go for that treasure map, though. To the northeast. Do you have any gas by chance? I don't think I ever checked your inventory. I'm not I'm not really sure. Um, some petrol would be nice, though, because I'm currently out, and I don't really feel like going back home to pick some up. I'd like to just auger my way through for the... Uh, <laughs> uh, the whatever. Rank 6 football helmet. Wow. Damn. Damn. Nerdy glasses. Increase experience gained, reduce crafting time, and plus one intellect. Honestly, quite good. Hmm. 
And not really secret stash. Military armor schematic. Uh I think so. That that ought to count as light armor. Natural antibiotic. Fine. The Great Heist Volume 7. Motion detection devices will not recognize me for three seconds while sneaking. The best loot typically has automated defensive defense systems like motion sensors and auto turrets. Does it really? Okay. I'll take your word for it. The batter up I really don't care about. There's a 4x4 truck for 54,000 bucks. He unfortunately does not have any gas though. So I think I'm going to head back home. And um Yeah. Do the do the do the thing with the gas and stuff. Yeah, it's light armor. Military fiber scrap polymers duct tape sewing kits. The military fiber. I wasn't sure about buying, but the the other vendor has some. And I don't think I have any. Oh, my apologies. Check back again and I may have what you're looking for. So, let's head home. Grab money and gas. Talk to the dude in the south. Buy the military fiber. And then I guess we do this dude's quest while we're down there by the other vendor, because that's that's down in that direction, I suppose. I guess that'll work out. So we're not doing the buried treasure then, which means I don't really need the gas. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So we got shotgun shells, we got gas, the magnum. Ugh. Yeah, fine. I'll I'll modify that. We'll switch that around a little, I guess. There. Complete. Scrap that magnum, the rank 4 magnum in. 99 damage, but it doesn't have any specific rounds loaded. The 9mm rounds, the H, the hollow point does 41 damage. This only does 32. And only 3 block damage as well, which should be noted. It's weaker against blocks, so missed shots don't uh, don't affect you as much then. If you want to look at it that way. That garbage away, that away, the duct tape away. Antibiotics away. The shovel, I guess we keep the pickaxe, I I guess we keep. <laughs> uh, um money I want, money I want, the steel stuff. Well the steel spear we can see about selling. I guess all that we see about getting rid of. A bunch of money in that. Yeah, that's that number up there is counting all of it. So there's okay, so I don't have thirty-two thousand, but I thought the these sold for significantly more than they actually do. But that's okay. That is fine. Okay, maybe some more bandages. Can I make first aid bandages? Oh, never mind. I got I got proper ones. Or the uh, the basic ones. I can't do the the proper ones. I don't think I need like a bunch of grain alcohol. I think I need a skill for it. Yeah. So we will head then to the trader down here. We're picking up the military fiber and selling some stuff. We'll do the... I think it was just a fetch that I grabbed for the guy up north. And then maybe we can go up north and we can still swing by and grab the treasure. Perhaps before the day ends. Depends how quickly we can find the uh, the, uh, the fetch. Probably pretty fast. I'm, I'm generally kind of okay at doing that. Just like ignoring everything and just going through and getting it, you know? Thank God Inventory. You might be one of the military dead. fiber 17 of it I'll take all of it oh I will sell that and then I'll take all of it you have more here you don't okay you can also have that and this book 
And the and the cash, sure. It's, it's fine. Real so with this military fiber. Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, okay. We're good. And I can make one of each. We just need a bunch of military armor parts, which You didn't have any. No, you didn't have any. We've got a bit of military armor parts at home. I've been collecting that. Any and all parts. So let's do the tier 4 fetch that's like basically right here. This is like business old strip 4 or something like that. There we go. Silencer mod schematic. Been looking in mailboxes for a little while. Stag party challenge. I guess. Kill some stags? Sure. And some paper. Been looking in mailboxes for uh, recipes and stuff. Hadn't been very lucky in a little while. There we go. Silencer mod schematic. Maybe I can put that fucking thing on the junk turret. Quiet it up a little bit so I can actually hear myself think during an attack. Ugh. Ooh. Popping pills? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, okay, one of these. There's a Shamway Foods, a pub, easy sofas. Yeah, poppin' pills place, too. Alright, sure. I'll... Seeing when this decides to just, like, shoot across the screen. Not really ever, so it's kind of in the back. But on that direction. Noted. Let's break through. Here. Whoa. Didn't know you were feral, what with your, like, you know, missing eye and everything. You also feral. Nah. She is, though. Have a shotgun! So glad I brought the shotgun. Oh my god. Do not leave home without it. Not anymore. Eh, pumpkin seed? Nah, pass. It is... Like, kind of right th through here. Apparently that was supporting the door. Like, right in here? Got it. Fucking yoink. And a gas barrel? Perfect. Okay, we're out of here. They might have a cool, awesome, like, loot box and finale- Ow! And finale thing, but, uh... I don't hugely- I'll take, like, a quick peek. But I don't hugely care. It just feels so dirty just like running out of the shotgun blowing everybody... <laughs> blowing everybody away. Get down there. Nah. Uh -huh. A lot of dudes in the bathroom. Bought some bookcases. I won't say no. I think that was another cable guy's never made it. Some more paper. Fine. Ranger's Guide to Archery Stun Baton Schematic. Some paper. Okay. 
I forgot about the exploding crossbow bolts. Curious what's up there, but I think I have to like build my way up. And I'm not that curious. I was looking for generally the final chest thing, but I don't think it's in this building. I think it might be um, somewhere in the poppin' pills then, perhaps? I don't know. I think we just go. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. Talk to the trader. This was the dude up north, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Talk to him, turn it in, grab something new, head up to the treasure then. Wasteland Treasures Volume 7. Harvesting more lead and brass from sinks and plumbing. I suppose so. Mostly just to finish off the whatever. Oh god, and tier 4 is complete. <gasps> oh man, check back tomorrow and have some harder jobs. <gasps> oh man. A rad remover mod will disable the regeneration ability of radiated zombies for 90 seconds? I didn't realize that they regenerated. Some recog. Plus 400% range damage. Reduces water a bunch for 45 seconds, plus 2 perception. Wow, that's good. I'll take that, yeah, sure. And northwest of Fetch, sure. It's 2 kilometers up there, which is pretty fucking far. But alright, so day 24, he's gonna have some tier 5 quests for me. Ooh, ah. Uh. That is... Wow, that's pretty far off. Okay. I thought this was more east. Alright, well, let's head to the treasure. And, uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, this will be an interesting one. This chest is, like, on the side of a cliff. On the side of a couple cliffs, in fact. Um... I... I don't know. Not sure how this is going to work. Let's just like... Just get at it and see what happens. At least with this auger. It's, oh, found it. It's like super fucking easy to just move through. A diamond nugget. Gold nugget. Exploding crossbow bolts, rocket high explosive, 16,000 money, an insulated liner mod, and some 9mm armor piercing ammo. Ooh, wow. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So we got time to head over to that quest way out there. So bike out, let's do it. That was a lot of money. Wow. We could maybe get a truck a little bit sooner than I expected. Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. That was a lot of money. So there's not... Ah, bird. F fuck out of here. I'll punch you, dad. Gah. It's not really a cool, convenient way down on the side of the mountain that I need to get down. So... Looks like we... Stop being a little bitch and just go for it. Ah, look at us go. I'm holding brakes, by the way. <laughs> this entire time I'm holding ass. And sprint forward. Perfect. Nailed it. No problem. Easy peasy. Because <laughs> I, I don't know the limits of the bicycle. Whoops. I don't know the limits of the bicycle at all. So I didn't want to, like, be too nuts with it. Um, yeah, I, it got, we're already wet from the rain, so sure. Let's, let's go for a little swim. I suppose. Ooh, I didn't realize we were going into a military encampment just then. Okay, grab the bike. I don't actually want to be here. I'm so far from home, I don't want to die. Oh my god, I did not realize. <laughs> Oh man, just riding a bicycle right into a military encampment getting blown up by a landmine? What a way to go. Fuck. Imagine if I was doing like a hardcore run of this and that's how it ended after after everything that I've done. Ah. Uh, that'd be no good. 
All right. Uh, bike can stay there. Here we go. Once again, this time it's maybe in a different spot. I don't know. Getting pretty fucking good at doing this building, though. Let me tell you. Uh, frame. We need four of them, I believe. Turn them into ramps. Actually, just three. Up. This side of the ladder. Shotgun out. Okay, yeah, it's down below me a little bit. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Give me that. Give me it now. Yoink. And I will not drop down there unless I have to. Could be I gotta. Can I line up any shots? Quickly reload it. That's good enough. Okay, perfect. Hey, nice. Thank you. A mining helmet. Well, all right. I feel like kind of an asshole now for having bought it previously, but oh well. Look at that escape. Holy shit, you gotta crouch a little bit, but it works. And we're fucking out of there. Gah. There we go. <laughs> oh man, alright, so that's that's that. Um, not sure what that quest is down there. That might be the Cable Guy quest, actually. I guess we'll head down and do that fast. I, I had forgotten to read the, uh, the quest to, like, uh, you know, Kibble Guy and stuff. Actually, that's a repair shop. You think they got, like, auto boxes in there? Let's check it out. They got a, they got a dog. They got one of them. Shut up. Hmm. That's locked. That's just a door outside, though. That's just a door outside. There's a workbench out there, though. I just saw that. I thought there'd be, like, working stiff crates or something like that out here. Maybe there are. Yeah, they are. They're just a little bit hidden. A headlight. Yeah, all right. Fine. <laughs> Meh. And what's up here? It's just for a water thing. Oh no, backpack. Bandages, sure. And you know what, you can have some tin cans and a bottle. You can have a bottle too, why not? Okay, and that workbench was out the other side, I think, so is my bike. Uh, white barrel? Hey, petrol. Ooh. And that bench. Somewhere around here, right? Oh yeah, there it is. Destroyed workbench with an engine in it. Well, we got a bit of petrol for it. That that's okay. Not exactly what I was after. I thought it would be like a car auto repair area, so there'd be maybe like the auto part boxes and all that, you know? Bike? Hello? Ah. 
Oh yeah, moving on. Um, yeah, to whatever that is down there. I think that'd be the killing the utility worker guys. Which we can absolutely do with a shotgun, why not, you know? Clear it out. It's a little bit of bonus experience, I suppose. They're not hugely worth doing, though. Like, early on, sure, but at this point, when I'm getting, like, tens of thousands of experience for, like, grabbing a box that's a couple kilometers away, um, I don't I don't know if they're still worth it. 